Hi guys, we're finally getting to the jobs on the old rangey. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I'm Martin. This is all 4x4. Um, if you've been watching the channel, you'll know that we've had some issues with the rangey, as in issues with bearings and CV boots. This one's a boot, but joints. Someone cross-threaded the end of the CV, which was very helpful of them. Um, and even though that's done really loose, uh, it's still difficult to get off. So what we're going to do today, we've got the new hub. We've got a new uh, blue, blue blueprint one, and we've also got a new blueprint um, CV. So good quality kit. It's going to get a lot of pound in, so we want OE specifications. Um, so now we're just going to start putting it all back together. So um, stay tuned. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what we're going to do to get this thing back on the road. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so here we go. We have the Blueprint CV kit, um, joint and boot complete. Um, this is the one that I got from a, a local supplier. Um, numbers on the bottom. They're not handed, um, they fit left and right sides. Um, so we shall um, tend to pop it on. I have cleaned the shaft a little bit up now so it's all nice <coughs> so we can now just uh, pop the circlip on the end which we'll do now let's get out of the box if I unpack it all you'll see what we've got <coughs> first of all CV rubber boot so we need to do that as well that's not yet we also have in the box which is quite nice I think rather than a sachet it's got a, a squeezer which has got all your grease in there which is really really good and not only that, we have uh, a little extension to screw on as well. So that's good. Cool. It's a good, good, good. So we've got to put all that in inside the boot. And we also have, should have, yeah, these are the two metal clips that hold the rubber boot to the shaft. We'll be using those shortly. Um, obviously, we've got the actual new CV joint. Oh, very, 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 very posh. Uh, again, with blueprint on it. Um, new nut. So that's good. But obviously, not only do we need that one, the most smallest and vital part is the new circuit that we've got to put on. So we shall do that now. This is a little bit tricky sometimes. The key to this one is not to stretch it because the 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 baggier it is, the less um, grip to the actual shaft makes it harder to put the CV boot on, sorry, CV joint on. So this has got to literally go onto the end of here. And literally, you should be able to just squeeze it straight on with your fingers. If you've got a bit of nail. There we go. And as you can see, it's back on, but it's still a little bit baggy, and that's what I found on many, many cars that I've done. Um, <sighs> I've done many CVs that the bigger this is, the harder it is to get the CV joint on. Inside here, <laughs> what you'll find is it's got a little bit of a chamfer on the inside. So this spline goes in here, but this little chamfered section here is there to try and compress this in so that this then goes through and out the other side to stop it coming off. Now, <laughs> that's not always the case. So what I do, tend to do before I <coughs> do anything else is I'm going to put the, the CV joint on here, sorry, the rubber boot on here. I'm going to clamp it on and then I'm going to put all the grease in here and then I'm going to stick it on but I'm going to put this in the vise like so and then I'm going to apply that like this and what I'm going to try and do is <clears throat> at the same time I'm going to try and with a screwdriver push that in it's going to be tricky push that in with a screwdriver with a bit of pressure and then tap it in with a rule mallet so it, it slides in nicely and it doesn't catch because what tends to happen if you don't catch this right this tries to work its way up the spline damaging the spline and damaging the o-ring so then you're going to need another o-ring and obviously it will damage the inside of here as well and we don't want to do that after we just spent all that money on some nice shiny parts 
So give it a second, I'll put this boot back on, I'll put the grease in, and then we'll attempt to um, get it all back on. See you in a sec. Right, okay, so what I'm gonna do first of all before I put the shaft back in, is I'm just gonna fill the bearings with grease. This is very controversial, there's many different ways of doing it. People say, oh, there's a technique to put it in. Well, this is true, there probably is. So, but to me, I just keep going over and over again until it's all disappeared enough into the bearing by just smoothing it over, smoothing it over, smoothing it like this. I'll show you. <clears throat> so you're getting all the little nooks and crannies and try and just force it through into the bearing. And as the product disappears, <clears throat> you know that it's going in because there's nowhere else for it to go. So you just keep going over it and over it and over it. See it's disappearing. So that's going into the bearing. Talked about topic, how to pack your bearings. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna get loads of comments saying, yeah, you've done that wrong, you've done that wrong, you should have done it this way, you should have and you may be right. But it hasn't let me down before, so we'll see. We shall see what comments I do get. And of course, feel free to comment if you wish to. <laughs> um, right, okay. Right, okay, so that's how I pack the bearings. I thought I'd show you that bit. Uh, obviously, there's still some left, which I'm going to put in with inside the boot once I put the boot back on. So I just want to leave that loose in there. There's probably about just over half have gone into the bearing, which is good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this up a little bit. And then I'm going to get ready to put the shaft back on. So we'll stop here a second, tidy this up, and catch in a sec. But as you can see, that circle needs to be compressed in. So I'm going to use a screwdriver. I might even need a cameraman's hand in a moment. Ugh. And we've got it everywhere. Pop that back in there. Right. Okay. Let's see how we go. Right, so first things first. Line this bad boy up. It's going to be tricky, I know, to see. <coughs> first things first, let's just see if we can get that in there. That's great. So we've got that in there. This is getting tricky to try and film it at the same time. So I'll try and push this in. Alright, so we've got that in there a little bit. You can see that's gone in that side. And we've got to try and get it into that side as well. And I've got to make sure, without moving it, that the other side's gone in also. Let's just have a little look. Please don't move. You've moved, you nasty pasty. A bit of grass in there. Don't want the grass in there. See, this is the problem when it moves. And now that's fell on the top. That's perfect. So now I can't see nothing because of that little ring has fallen back down. There we go. And it's in. <laughs> Poxy thing. <laughs> that was nice and clean at the same time. Lovely. Well, that grease is not going back in now. Okay, so that's that. Now what we've got to do now is make sure that that circlip goes all the way through to the other side. There we go. Yep, it's gone through. So that's it. So all that we need to do now is put the the ring around that section and um, I'll spare you the details of that one I'll put it on because obviously the next step that we're going to do is put this back into the car and then put the hub back on so I'll put the clip on I'll show you the clip on it's very easy to put on um, but I'll get in position before I squeeze it on I'll show you just so it saves a bit of time on the video I'm messing about so I'll see you in a second we got the um, the boot back on, we got the ring back on, ready to crimp up. 
when it's quite important whilst putting the boot on, there is a rib on the inside of here that the boot actually sits into, so you've got to make sure that's in to make sure it's got a nice seal. Um, then tighten up as much as you can so it goes into these little clips as tight as you possibly can. And then what we do is this section here, we crimp to tighten it up. And then hopefully it should be all good and tight and water resistant and everything else that we need. So this is my, these are my old ones by the way, they used to be dad's, he was in the RAF. I think that's where he got them from. They're for pulling nails out and such like, I think, to be honest, but they work really well for this job. And they just close it up nicely, like so. That is solid, nice and tight. So then that now can go back in the car. So we'll cut off here, go back to the car, put the shaft back in, put the hub bearing back in and we should be then being able to put the disc back on with the carrier and the caliper and put the wheel back on ready to go although there is the other side to do as well <laughs> but we shall see anyway we'll catch you in a sec back at the car okay we'll put this one back in um, hopefully everything's going to be good. Yeah, that'll be a bit of an issue getting that past there. Bit of a jiggle. Come on, in you go. Same time. Get tight. Yeah. Try not to. Now she's in. And then make sure she slides in straight away, that's it. So the seal at the back has to be right up against the axle so you know she's sat properly. So that's good. And it's in. <coughs> and what we've got to do now is we're going to... I've cleaned this edge up here for the new um, hub to sitting. So I'm just going to put a little bit of grease. Not massive amounts. Just to give it a bit of a help in hand. So if <laughs> we have to change it again at some point because of all the off-roading and such like it's going to be a little bit easier to take out hopefully because it won't be as rusty <laughs> so a little bit of protection on there maybe and you know what just a, a little bit on there as well so that's that done okay now we'll go and get the hub and we'll put it on right Right, okay, this is the hub, yet again, um, another blueprint product, uh, there's a part number on there. These are sided, so this is the left side, <coughs> and obviously if we get another, we've got another one for the right side as well. Um, but again, quality bit of kit, um, nice OE specifications, so hopefully it'll last a bit longer. Um, let's have a look, should be a nice shiny one, there we go, nice and shiny. Right, now the first thing, before I put this on, just put a little bit of grease around here, so it helps to um, not wear out so much. So here we go, just a little bit on there. Stop it rusting and catching, if you want it again, if you want to take it off again, you don't want all these spines that are going to be sat in water and mud and what have you. Um, this just helps to uh, stop it from rusting together pretty much and wearing out all right that should be enough this one here is easy to put on the two holes at the top are narrow and the two bottom ones are wide so you can't get it wrong and this is the hole for the ABS sensor which we will need a new one that one's broken um, it's damaged you've got damage taking the other one out so we'll get a new one of those at some point but to put it on it is relatively easy we hope all right all you do is make sure the spline comes through and then, there we go, that is it. That is on. The only thing we've got to do now is put the bolts in and we can start building the carrier, put the disc on, put the carrier on, and then pads, caliper back on. So I'll get that buttoned up. And um, as the video is not really for anything high tech or telling you what to do, it's just showing you what we're doing you know, torque settings and such like that. 
yeah, I'm not going to go into all that. Um, but just so you can see what we're doing, what we've done, and uh, just a bit of informative videoing, really. Um, but anyway, we'll get these buttoned up, and um, we'll catch you in the next bit when we're putting the caliper and stuff back on. Okay? Right, okay, now, the hub's all back on, all tightened up nicely. Um, the only thing I'm going to do now is put a little bit more grease on here, just so that the next time I want to take the brake caliper, the brake disc off, it's going to be a little bit easier. Um, all preparation, as I say, they go through a lot of mud, a lot of water, as we all know with these 4 before's <coughs> when the green laning or off-roading, whatever you want to call it. Um, <coughs> point being is that it's going to make it all so much easier. <coughs> so that is more than enough. Probably too much, to be honest. I just want a little bit. And that's all we need, just to stop it from sticking. Because there's going to be a time when I've changed the discs at some point because they will wear out quickly when you're doing off-roading all the dirt that gets inside um, and the pads and the discs get in between and wears them out a lot lot quicker so this is why I try to do this just so that it makes the job a little bit easier next time around there we go. okay so just putting the grub screw in for the disc to hold the disc in place <coughs> And then a caliper carrier. Let's get that in there. Come on, in you go. Incidentally, these ones don't tighten them too tight because they have a habit of <laughs> getting a little bit rusty and a little bit stuck. So the tighter you do them, the worse it's going to be to get out later. So it just needs a firm nip and nothing more really. That'll do. That is more than enough. Okay, so <clears throat> now I'm going to put the carrier back on. Just clean up the patches a little bit with a wire brush. Very used, worn wire brush. Just clean up the edges. Okay, so it's all back together now. Um, basically, I've just got to do the other side. I don't have to change the CV on the other side, but I do have to change the the bearing hub. Um, that hasn't come as yet, so when it comes, um, I'll do a very short, quick video of that, just put it in, perhaps. Um, if you want to see that, we can do that. If not, then we'll just, uh, next video, we'll be back out on the, on the tracks with a bit of luck. Fortunately, the MLT has run out, but the last MLT she ran straight through with no advisories whatsoever. So I'm hoping that it's going to be the same this time around. Well, thank you for watching, um, and hopefully we'll see you out on the lanes very soon. See you in a bit. Have you done the logo yet? Oh yeah, no, 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 I haven't. Well, put it in then. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. Just put it in at the end with fancy music and that. Eh?